Welcome back everyone. Oakland's historic and last standing piano bar, The Alley, now on the brink of closing because of the pandemic. The Alley on Grant Avenue originally opened in 1933, shortly after the end of Prohibition. It has since created a legacy in Oakland from being honored in 2016 as a local historic property and becoming a stopping point for many famous performers. As Crown Forest Taylor Basaki reports, the Alley's doors have been closed since March, but now the community is fighting to save the bar. It's a familiar sound in Oakland. The piano keys leading a variety of voices, anyone from amateurs to famous performers. Ella Fitzgerald, um, Adam Levine from Maroon 5, Murph Griffin. Jacqueline Simpkins has owned the alley since 2009, but it's been in her family since 1950. It means everything. It's, uh, it's like, it's my life, basically. <laughs> I've poured so much into it. The alley originally opened in 1933, shortly after the end of the Prohibition, and is now the last standing piano bar in the city. However, it might not stand for much longer because of the pandemic. We need some kind of help, small businesses, because I don't know what I'm going to do after this. I'm, I'm close. I'm so very close to closing. It's not funny. Simpkins says the alley's doors have been closed since mid-March, and without any income, she's drowning in bills. I have a multi-use building. My upstairs is apartments, and the downstairs is the alley, of course. I can't open because I know I can't do it on just to go, and I don't, if I would have opened this last time, that would have been the end. And the problem I'm having is the tenants upstairs can't pay their rent. To try and save the historic property, one of the pianists, Brian Seat, along with community members, are raising funds through a GoFundMe as a last-ditch effort to save the bar restaurant. Not just be losing uh, a place that's that survived 90 years so far, which would be a tragedy in itself, but the, you know the community is centered around um, you know getting together at this place that that kind of is is this acceptance place of acceptance and diversity that kind of reflects the Bay Area itself. To keep the bar alive and its community together, Seat also hosts virtual piano bar nights each week, where regulars tune in, sing along, and make song requests. I'm Taylor Bisaki reporting, Cron 4 News.